Hey guys, how's it going? Arlix here, bringing you some scout gameplay on the map King of the Hill Lakeside. Awesome map, great map for scout. There's a lot of uh, passageways and uh, jumping areas where you could definitely flank people, get behind them, fire your scatter gun. Uh, Segway, I'm using the scatter gun, um, Mad Milk, and the Atomizer. Uh, I pretty much always use the Atomizer now. Dead scout, that scout is all kinds of dead. Uh, so, yeah. Atomizer, yeah, the triple jump is really good for solving a lot of problems that a scout might face on the battlefield. I mean, fighting against soldiers, heavies, anything like that is a lot easier if you have a triple jump. It's a good option, good safety net to fall back on. I mean, uh, if you happen to miss a jump, you could always uh, use that triple jump to save you and bring you back up to where you want it to go. Um, I don't really use my bat anyway, so... Uh, having a passive ability like a triple jump is basically the best option for me. And right here, we quickly captured a point. I just do my regular scout stuff, uh, run over here, jump on this platform. It's a great flanking platform. I get to see everyone around me as they run uh, out of the spawn and get to go behind them and uh, kill them off with a few shots. Uh, which is kind of what I want to talk about today. Uh, basically... I want to talk about scout tips and just basically how to play a scout properly. Uh, scout is a very weak class, I mean 125 health, that is the lowest amount of health that any class has. But the only thing that makes a scout very powerful is the fact that he has um, speed. And right here I was determined to beat the spy out of this pyro. Yeah, he wasn't a spy. Either way, his the scout's speed and small size generally makes him an uh, unfavored target on the battlefield, which is a big mistake. I mean, right there, I just took out this uh, spy, uh, not spy, sniper, with a couple of shots, each doing about 100 damage. So, uh, a couple of shots, like right there, 104, 104, is enough to kill almost any uh, enemy on the battlefield. Um, as long as they don't know you're there. If they know you're there and you're fighting toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you probably will get destroyed unless you get lucky or, you know, they're terrible. And right there, see a group of people throw my milk at them. Generally, I try to cover as many people with milk as possible. It's a, very good for teammates, you know, they can stay alive. Look at this, bam, bam. Full, almost full health right there from a few shots. Um, yeah, either way, what I was talking about was flanking, right, see this heavy right there, um, generally, I don't know what that heavy was doing, he should have turned around and, uh, you know, focused on why someone is doing so much damage to him from the back, but that's kind of what, summing up what the scout does, you know, right here also, see this mini sentry, for a scout, mini sentries aren't very good, so I decide to back down, I know I'm not gonna win, and I just wanna live, instead of, you know, having to respawn for 15 seconds, it's not a good option, uh, luckily my teammates come and save me, that's what I'm talking about, that's kind of the little things that make a, uh, you know, a bad scout good, um, you have to know which battle you're gonna win, which battle best to, you know, not to even bother with, but you know, I'm not actually saying that you should just quit and give up on that enemy altogether. Um, using your speed to your advantage, you could always run around the map, flank the person, and then while he's preoccupied with your teammates, you gotta go and you gotta finish him off. Um, like I said, if you get up close to a person, like I did with that heavy, uh, just a few shots, each doing 100 damage, will finish that heavy off, no problem. This is also what makes the scout a bit of a advanced class because you have to know the map layouts, you have to know where you could double jump, where you could run so that you could flank the enemy and kill him from behind. Uh, this is also why I love this map because it's really opened up out here but if you could double jump, triple jump, whatever up here and then easily flank whoever um, is you know, running. I don't know what this heavy was doing here. Uh, not heavy, sorry, soldier. And yeah, this round is just about over, uh, top scoring. Uh, so I hope you guys found that some of my insights on how to play Scout um, a little helpful. You know, I hope that I, I helped at least one person get better at playing Scout. 
And thanks guys for watching. Remember, if you liked it, please press the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you really liked it, you could subscribe. I do these um, frequently. I'm going to try to put as many out as possible. Uh, so thank you.